Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So today we're talking about Wong and Rintra balance follow-up and my personal thoughts about this and I also really want to hear from you what do you guys think specifically about this especially when I'm going to put it in context obviously of Kabam John's interview about rebalancing program. So that being said, uh, the base gist is that there's going to be no update to Wong or Rintra they recently finished their eternal process. We're seeing Wong do well in both in terms of damage and sur survivability in longer fights, such as Labyrinth of Legends or Story Content, where he has room to stack up his spells. With Rintra, we're seeing players charge through some uh, tough fights in Alliance War, taking advantage of his powerful neutralize, blah, 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 blah. So they're not changing either one of these champions. However, first, I will want to direct you guys to a post that Buddy Lee made a while ago, and I completely agree with virtually every single word here, where he made a post saying Wong should be the first tune-up since introducing champion. So I really think Wong is a cool champion, it's very fun to play, and I love how he works. There is a problem, though. He seems to be in some sort of no-man's land in the game. 100% agree to that, because whenever I pick Wong up to my team to mess around in, like, uh, Labyrinth of Legends or Realm of Legends, do some potion farming. I'm having a good time. When he ramps up, he's a fun champion. I enjoy using Wong a lot. The problem with Wong is that there's just nothing to do with him in the game. Like, there isn't a single game mode where you'd go, I want Wong for this. Or, you know, would be cool here? Wong. It's just not happening. So, Wong is a ramp up champion and is great when ramped, but this makes him not great for normal questing fights as are over before you take advantage of his region and utility such as energy damage mitigation 100 agree as a ramp up champion he's powerful when ramped up in a fight but not to the point where he would be a good option for something like abyss or any future everest content once again completely agree his bulk control through special three is far too short to actually be useful until he is ramped all the way up at which point the fight would be over and couldn't effectively control any buffs, or the buff control would be just, you know, arguably meaningless, because if you could throw eight special ones and like three, four special twos before you get level three, you don't really need the buff control to begin with. In conclusion, even though I really enjoy playing this champion, and Kabam did a great job making a cool champion, he just won't be used or enjoyed unless he's being forced by someone like myself that finds him as cool as I do, He's standing on the line between being an effective champion for normal content or being a beast for Everest content. And I hope a tune uh, would have him step into one side or the other to give him a solid place in the game. And I 100% agree to that because at the moment there is not a single piece of content where he is needed. Aside from like defense and lines for defense because he can be somewhat effective defender. But offensively, you know, in Alliance War, no, you do not want a champion that requires you to throw up to eight special ones and like four or five special twos to ramp up. The fights need to be long over before that. Then we have story content. Again, there's just no need for a ramp up like that if we have champions like Tiger, Diablo, Doom, so on and so forth. Uh, same thing for incursions. Same thing for virtually everything else. And it's not like he's a mega beast in Abyss either. You know, yeah. You can't have your fun, but what for? And I was genuinely believing that Wong is a perfect candidate for a tuna because of this. More importantly, this fact that Wong is not getting tuned up, to me personally, further kind of just reinforces the idea that this rebalancing program is a huge, huge net negative to the community. Because... As Kabam John stated in the interview, that if balancing program would be live last year, they would have liked to tune down Hercules and Kitty Pride, for instance. And, and that is a very huge deal. But they always tried to sell this with this upside, which I never found to be all that compelling to begin with, because as demonstrated basically with Psycho Man, who didn't get rebalanced but got buffed and is still absolutely relevant, there is just no benefit of having this players only get the downside of, you know, the best champions could be tuned down, but the champions that could use some help are not getting it right now. And that further kind of emphasizes the idea that unless Kabam royally undertunes some champion and the champion is completely, completely useless, then it doesn't seem like we're going to be getting many tune-ups either. 
So at the moment, we are in a situation of rebalance program where we have, I would name Wong, if you take a look at uh, Aunt May and 2022 champions, I'd say Captain Britain's probably the worst champion. And then we have like Wong, um, that definitely could benefit from a tune up, in my opinion. Perhaps Sauron could slightly benefit from a tune up. And maybe Misty Knight, Gore, and like Cap Sam. Because I, I definitely would say that Wong is in the bottom five of the 16 champions released so far this year in terms of practical use. Obviously, he's still fun, he's still cool, but he just has nothing to do in the game. And if a champion like that, who clearly is lagging behind the average level of champion released, let's say we consider Captain Mark Sam Wilson, who has his use, let's say if we consider even Misty Knight, she has her uses, or Toad, or I don't know, Wiccan, or Valkyrie, uh, or whatever else, Wong is underperforming. So if they're not tuning up Wong, then who will they tune? Tune up. At the moment, every single champion, and that's also quite important for us to understand, because after Wong and Rintra, uh, we're going to be taking a look at which champions. One second, entering the basic pool, what order they were released. After Wong and Rintra, we will be taking a look at what? Wiccan and Hulkling? They're definitely not getting a tune up. If anything, maybe they're going to down Hulkling. Who knows? Then we're going to be moving on to what? Valkyrie and Gore? You know, Gore maybe can get a tune up. But I'd argue that Wong kind of needs it more. And then we're going to have Quicksilver and Gallen who are both of them more likely tune downs, not ups. So if you don't tune up Wong, who do you tune up? Is the question. Because at the moment, we're looking at all of the upcoming champions that are released after Winter and Wong, and pretty much all of them are better. And if anything, could be candidates of perhaps tuning them down. So let me know what you guys think about this. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe I'm just being completely blind to the charms of Wong, even though I do have Wong as a rank three six star. And I have tried him in a bunch of stuff. And again, it's just not quite worth to do the ramp up. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about it. That will be it. But yeah, Rintra and Wong are not getting changed at all. See you next time. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about the next